Well, we've come today up onto the Blakeney Eskner. Now the Eskner is a drop zone for glaciers where all the debris that the glaciers picked up and carried across from wherever they travelled was dropped when the glaciers started to melt. And this little area in Norfolk is one of the highest points on this area of coastland, just behind the village of Wiverton, between Blakeney and Cly. And if you thought Norfolk was as flat as a pancake, then this little area might well surprise you. The material here that was dumped by that glacier is a mixture of sand, gravel and flint stones. And a lot of this area was actually excavated in the 17th and 18th century for building materials. Today it's a little nature reserve, got a car park between the Blakeney and Wiverton area of the road that runs along the coast here and it gives you some of the best views over the Norfolk countryside that there are in this area. Just look at that wonderful view looking down the Waveney Valley and over the farmland here, predominantly raising pigs quite a large outdoor unit there extending right the way over this farmyard and in the other direction we've got good views of the sea. This is one of the areas that's been excavated several centuries ago. You can see the big depression where they've taken all the material out of this area for building. It's now recolonized with the heathland. And there you are, come up onto this north facing side of the bank and there's the view across towards Cly with its famous windmill. I don't know whether you'll be able to make out, but in the far distance of the horizon we've got the wind farm now, Sheringham Shoal, just picked out in the sunlight for me this afternoon. If I pan round a little further you've got the church there at Wiverton, and if we were a little further round we'd be also looking back towards Blakeney and the church there. Let's make our way onto the end and see what the view is like from that prominence. Come down just a little bit onto this wooded walk. Beautiful mature oaks. We've got bluebells just coming up in the undergrowth. And we've also put, I think, a bat box up there or an owl box. Probably too big for bats, it's probably owls. Again, looking over to a lovely bit of mature old ancient woodland in the distance. Nice area to come with the dogs. Thymaranus with me today. I need to be a little cautious with him because a couple of years ago I was up here when we only had him. Came across a family of roe deer and he was off for a couple of fields before he decided he was well outnumbered and outrun and turned back to me. I think he's well past that now but the young girl's not so we keep an eye out make sure they don't get anything too interesting in their sense but they're enjoying the time out here and it's a nice safe walk for them. Yeah, we've come down through this little bit of woodland and again it's cleared nicely that we're looking back now towards the church. Up on the top there that's Blakeney. We've lost Wiverton now which is just behind the bank of trees there and we're just going to continue along this path now bring us up onto the promontory at the very end. It's not a very long walk this is probably only about five to six hundred yards from one end of this prominence to the other but the footpath does continue right along back into Blakeney and down into Cly uh, with some road crossings through Glanford. Uh, you may have to put your wellies on to get across the ford there because it is a ford crossing as opposed to a bridge but it's a very nice walk on a day like today. I've got some people coming up ahead so I'm just going to pop him on a lead in case they've got dogs with them. This little bit of woodland is going to be absolutely wonderful in a couple of weeks time. We've just got the first of the bluebells starting to emerge through. There's deer fencing being put up to keep deer in the woodland at the back there off these. But the whole carpet under this little area of oak is just peppered with bluebells and the whole bank at the top as well. It's going to be absolutely lovely in about two, two and a half weeks time. And more pigs on this area. It's a big part of the agricultural industry around here, rearing pigs. The church in the background there is Cly, which you can just make out through the trees. And again, the sea behind it. Looking absolutely beautiful in this uh, nice spring sunlight. The path brings you round the easterly end of this 
walkway and we're going to take this path now back up to the top to get that view back up and over these hills behind us we've got an absolutely lovely flowering blackthorn or slow bushes in this wooded area to the side of the path and let's go up the top and see what the view's like from the very top so up we go and here we are at the very top on the easterly end of the mound looking down to the village of Glamford nestling there in the base with more runs of pigs in fact pigs dominate this landscape just look at that over towards the far horizon you've got more pig houses and arcs and loads and loads of breeding sows beautiful views of Norfolk beautifully wooded this area and lovely little villages nestling in between the valleys really worth a walk up here and those bluebells gonna make it absolutely spectacular for a short walk in late April beginning of May and here's the very summit at the eastern end I've gone to the trouble of producing a very nice wooden bench for you to sit on to enjoy this absolutely spectacular view looking northeast towards the village of Cly with its medieval church there so nicely outlined almost on the horizon the North Sea behind, the village of Cly slightly towards the left, pig arcs in the foreground and a beautiful big Norfolk sky just in case you'd forgotten where you were. So do visit Witherton Downs, I hope you get to.